<laughs> we are back. The Mashalu Montefiore Community Center is developing a program that's actually allowing city youth to get a head start on long-term career and educational goals. And here now to share what to expect from these programs is the program director at Mashalu Montefiore Community Center, Daniel Torres, and good to have you. Thank you for having me. Uh, a lot of good things happening, huh? Yes, we were actually um, awarded a city grant from DYCD, Department of Youth and Community Development, in which we actually closed the gap between educational and career goals. Mm -hmm. And so one of those things that we talk about, I know, is the Advance and Earn program that you have. And so walk us through, what is exactly the Advance and Earn program? Okay, the Advance and Earn program is catered to those 16 to 24 year olds and which will provide them HSC instruction for those that do not have their high school diploma or equivalently while paying them to attend classes through either stipends or a 250 hour internship at minimum wage. And for those that have the high school diploma and driver's license, we provide them with free CDL training. Mm -hmm. And CDL training is big these days. Yeah. We've got some new laws. People are required to actually have uh, CDLs, particularly commercial vans and stuff like that. Um, how's that coming? It's coming good. Actually, we're getting a lot of recruitment for that. Um, we're, we coordinated with Supertrans, our bus company, so mm -hmm. within six weeks, our participants will have their CDL license. Six weeks? Wow, that's awesome. And so also, you know, talk about high school equivalency, right? You know, you've got a program that's designed to actually help those to be able to get their high school equivalency. And uh, for many, they just need that one chance, and you've got the door open. We provide that chance. We, um, we realize that financial hardship is a big burden amongst our youth, so it's either choosing them between working or education. So with this, we provide them with both. They're allowed to um, they obtain income while obtaining their education at the same time. You got a lot of people coming through your doors. What are you hearing from people in terms of the need for services, and what kind of services are people really like gravitating for? The need for services is never ending. With the changing economic states, people are requiring more different services. I mean, the one thing we also try to address are barriers with our social service team. Um, we address many barriers from housing to food to whatever these mm -hmm. participants may need. And so, what can people expect taking part in these programs? They can expect the they feel of enrichment, um, education, peer counseling, internship, and just that network of community. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, okay, gosh, I'm, I'm listening, it sounds kind of interesting, but I don't know if I kind of like fit. What are the requirements as far as participating? Are there eligibility requirements? The eligibility requirements are just, um, they have to be disenrolled in school or employment or underemployed between the ages of 16 to 24. Mm -hmm. That's the only requirement. So somebody said, what, what, what's defined as underemployed these days? Underemployed is working part-time under 21 hours a week. Okay. And so if you do, come on out and reach out and then be able to take part. Yes, we'll help them. Real, real simple, right? <laughs> real, that's all it is, right? But so for this program, obviously this grant has gone forward. And what were the initial thoughts behind the grant in terms of wanting to reach the community and some of the goals that you had? I mean, the grant, when we awarded the grant, it was actually very competitive. Um, we're one of six providers in New York City to be awarded this new grant. Mm -hmm. it, um, what it did, it combined the two programs, adult literacy and the young internship program. So at first writing, it was very competitive. Um, it took many nights for us debating what to do it, but we know that we've been around the community 77 years. So we know the demographics, we know the community's ever-changing, so this was something that we knew we needed to do. And the end goal, what do you want people to walk away with? What a sense of satisfaction and completion, like they completed something. Mm. Well, we want to thank you, Danielle, for coming. Thank you. We want to give people more information so that way they can get connected, and if they want to be a part of the Advance and Earn program, get that CDL, we'll give it to them right now. Great, thank All you. All right, thank you. Listen, now, if you want more information on the Advance and Earn program, visit their website at mmcc.org. And we encourage you, don't go anywhere, because when we are coming back, we're learning how one organization is tackling the homeless crisis right here in our city. Stay tuned, we'll be right back in a few.